another major update towards a cure for type 1 diabetes just three days after the last one, and this one does not require immunosuppression. I'm a diabetes doctor, and I'll break it all down. So many of you wisely and appropriately called out the fact that the previous post about Vertex requires immunosuppression, which is lifelong and very risky. But what makes Vertex's solution special is that it's grown from stem cells, meaning that you can make really as many as you want from a lab or factory. Santa's solution is the opposite in that they took donated insulin producing islet cells from another person and then transplanted it into the forearm of patients with type 1 diabetes. But the secret sauce is in this HIP engineering. HIP stands for hypoimmune technology, which uses gene therapy to protect these new cells from autoimmune destruction. For more information, check out my post back in January about Santa. That original post just covered the first four weeks of this patient's experience on this treatment, but today's announcement covers six months of data. So let's get to it. Six months later, they still demonstrated survival and function of those new pancreatic beta cells, see peptide level which represent insulin production also remain detectable and his insulin levels rose after a meal consistent with what you'd expect. To further confirm the survival of these modified islet cells, a 12-week imaging scan demonstrated the islet cells were intact and there were no safety issues. Now while at this point it's still just one patient, I do feel much better about six months of data versus just four weeks. And the fact that the CEO of Breakthrough T1D was quoted favorably in the press release is a big deal because they are the group most closely tracking the progress towards a cure. Now back to what I said in the beginning, the current solution from Santa was taken from donated pancreatic islet cells, which are in limited supply. But Santa is hoping to incorporate the immune evasion learnings and technology from this current trial to develop a new product called SC451, which would be a hip modified stem cell derived islet cell therapy, which would be the best of both worlds. They plan to file a new drug application for this as soon as next year. Follow me for updates on the progress towards a cure and all things diabetes technology.